What is going on, everyone? We're here today. We're here today. Um, yeah. So not every game of week one is even done yet, but um, there is some pretty. This weekend meant a lot. This weekend meant a lot for a lot of teams, and I just want to go over it because, again, this is pretty important. Um, as the bracket stands right now. <clears throat> Top four are absolutely guaranteed. Um, assuming I went out the rest of my games against Chase and Tabs, I'm guaranteed second seed. JC is guaranteed first seed, assuming he wins out. Tanner's guaranteed third seed if he wins out, I believe. And then Emez, he can go down to fifth seed, but no matter what, Emez being fourth or fifth seed, no matter what. So, top four teams are all secured playoffs, no matter what. Doesn't matter, they're making it. So, those seeds are making it. Um... The interesting thing comes out. So, green, so I color coded it. Green means they're in. I don't know what I just did. You're suggesting? Let me go back. I don't know what I just did. Okay. So, green means they're in. Blue means they're sort of in, but not guaranteed yet. Red means they're guaranteed out, which is B. And purple means th I think they're the most likely to make it and this magenta is like I think they can make it I think statistically they can but in actuality probably not so let's go over it so the teams with the stars next to them means they haven't played yet they're playing tonight uh, B versus Tanner Tanner's probably gonna win that one because B He's kind of mentally clocked out since he can't make playoffs anymore, so I don't think he's even going to try the rest of the season. So, probably going to give that one to Tanner. And then, Wu versus JC. This is a pretty big one, because if Wu gets this win, he's tied with B he's tied with Tavs, and he beats Chase in the playoff run. But if he loses, which, if we're assuming he loses, he's tied with Chase. So, let's move on to this next week tabs plays the ash ketchums and he plays me in my opinion right i'll get rid of this color in my opinion the breloom bambinos are going to end eight and ten and i say that because Chris, he has no incentive to try. I mean, okay, so let's let's figure this out. So if Chris wins both his games, he moves to seven and eleven. So let's say Chris is seven and eleven. That means Tabs would have to beat me. He would have to beat me to guarantee his slot. If Tabs, let's see this. Let's say Tabs. Loses both his games and he goes seven and eleven. Let's say he's seven and eleven, right? Seven and eleven. Arizona Ash Ketchums. Say they're also seven and eleven. And then the Daddy Diglets. Well, what's Preston? Who does Preston play next week? He plays Tanner. Plays B. The Preston's probably winning against B because B has no incentive to try anymore. The Preston's big game is against Tanner. If Preston loses to Tanner, he's out no matter what. He has to beat Tanner. If he loses to Tanner, his season's over. His game against B, they can kind of troll. It doesn't really matter. But if Preston wants a playoff run, he has to beat Tanner. So let's say Preston wins his games as well. Carolina Con Kelders. 7 and 11. Um, and then what's Wu? So Wu plays. Let's say Wu also wins out. So Wu. So, okay, so just add two to the record. I'm an idiot. Okay. So, assuming that Wu loses to JC tonight, if Wu wins out, he'd be 8 and 10. And Chase 
Bill Hitmon Tops. Chase would also be eight and ten. Okay. So assuming that Tabs loses out. Assuming that Tabs loses out and and uh, Chase and Wu win out, Wu and Chase would actually take over. Okay, so yeah, no matter what, no matter what, I don't think these teams can make it. Um, because even if Tabs loses out, let me see. The Chris. So let me see if let me see. Hold on. I think you have twenty two again. Okay, so Chris versus Chris versus Tabs. If Tabs wins, he goes if Tabs wins, he goes to eight and nine. And then Chris is guaranteed out, so it's not even a question anymore. So Preston to make playoffs, Preston would have to beat Tanner, and B, and he would need, and he would need Tabs to win out. Tabs would have to win out, and Preston would have to win out, or Tabs would have to lose out, or no, Tabs would have to win out, and Preston would also have to win out. But Preston, ooh, his, okay, so let's say. First case scenario, let's say, let's say, uh, ta well, best case scenario for Tabs, I guess. Best case scenario, Tabs goes to 9 and 9. Chris would go 7, or no, he'd be 5 and 13. Yeah, he'd be 5 and 13. Preston would be 7 and 11. And then Wu. What's this? Okay, no run. Wu plays Emnaz. Okay, so what's Wu's record? Six and not or six. Well, assuming that he loses to JC tonight, Wu's worst possible record would be six and twelve. And Chase's worst possible record would also be six and twelve because Preston doesn't play either of them. You know he doesn't. Okay, so. For Preston to make playoffs, he needs a lot to happen. He needs Tabs to win out to guarantee that fifth seed. And then he needs he needs everyone else to lose out. He needs everyone else to lose out. So, I guess the same thing goes for Chris. So, for well, no, because Chris, he plays Tabs. So, that's not even a possibility. Well, I guess it would be a tie. Okay, so for Chris or Preston to make playoffs, they need to win out, and everyone else needs to lose out. Um, statistically saying, that's pretty low, in my opinion. Statistically speaking, that is pretty low. Uh, that's why I have him in this other color, because statistically speaking, they can make playoffs, but it's not looking good for them. It's not looking good for them. Um, B guaranteed can't make it, so he's not even part of the question. But this is where it gets spicy between Wu and Chase. Because Tabs, again, Chris doesn't have an incentive. I mean, if he really wants to make a playoff push and just bank on the odds that everyone else loses out, he can go for it. He can go for it. But statistically speaking the odds of him making it are so low that he might not even try anymore so assuming that and assuming other things because Tavs has been having a better season than Chris Tavs probably takes a set against Chris and knocks him out of playoffs um so again in my mind I think Tavs is going to end 8 and 10 I think Tavs is going to end 8 and 10 because I think he's going to be Chris because again Chris Statistically speaking, can make playoffs just very, very unlikely for him. And his game and Tabs' game against me, I'm still playing for something too. I want that bye week. So for me, I want that bye week. I want it. 
So I'm playing serious my next two, my last week. So again, if I'm playing serious and I mean business, I ain't letting Tavs win. That's just who. That's just, I'm built different. So Tavs, in my opinion, is at an eight and ten, which would secure him in playoffs. I'm pretty sure. Chris, assuming he wants to make a playoff run, he can go for it. But again, doesn't really have an incentive to because the odds are so low. So again, I'm gonna say he's five and thirteen. Alright, let's do this. Mark you green. A mark you red. Then Preston. Let me see who he plays. This game against Tanner is gonna be so tough. That's gonna be like Tanner again. If he wants to secure third seed, I guess he needs to play this one serious. Just so like Emmez doesn't win two and then take his spot or something. Because what's Emmez's record? Okay, so Tanner... Well, no, if Tanner beats B tonight, which he probably will because B's not trying, he guarantee has third slot. Okay. So, Tanner... Probably not trying next week. I mean, he could try on the off chance that I lose a game. That way he can tie with me and then we have to play for second seed. But again, Tanner, probably not trying next week. Um, doesn't If he beats B tonight, he doesn't really have an incentive to. So, Tan so... Preston could make the upset win here, but I don't know. It's going to be really tough. And then B, basically a guaranteed win. But again, if Preston loses to Tanner, this game literally doesn't matter at all. So all the pressure's on Preston to beat Tanner. All the pressure in the world. Uh, that? A little... I mean, he has a guaranteed win in B, because again, I'm not saying B's bad. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying since B statistically cannot make playoffs, he has literally no incentive to try anymore. I, if I were him, I'd just be bringing fun dumb sets to just try and troll, f have some fun in the last two games. He had a good season, came in late. Nothing against B. What I'm just saying is that B, no matter what happens, he literally cannot make playoffs. So he's... It doesn't make sense for him to try anymore, unless he just wants a better record, which I guess, but... So Preston has essentially a guaranteed win, so it comes down to if he beats Tanner. And if I'm being a realist, I think Preston ends 6-12. and 12. I think he ends 6-12. and 12. Let me move on to Wu and Chase, because this, this is where it gets weird. This is where it gets funky. Um, Because Wu plays... JC tonight and end this. And if we're being a realist, if we're being real, probably loses those games. But he plays Chris in the last week, which Chris, again, doesn't really have. I mean, statistically, can't make playoffs. But it's so impossibly unlikely that he does. Like, so much has to go right for uh, Chris and Preston to make playoffs that they probably don't make it. Probably don't make it. Again. Crazier things have happened this season, but again, speaking like a real man, or not a real, like like a true, just highest odds possibility, Chris probably just throws this game, or not throw it, but doesn't try because he doesn't have a reason to play out. So, Wu, what's his record now? He probably moves to 7 and 11. Probably moves to 7 and 11. Then Chase. He plays me and Tanner. Now me, I'm playing to secure second seed. So I'm playing serious. I've said this before and I'll say it. I'm playing serious. And last time we played, granted, week one, he had a lot of different Pokemon. He didn't have Nidoking or Prim, which changes up a lot in this game. But even then, I Bozo checked him really hard. And again, I'm playing serious. So I'm not letting Chase just walk scot-free. So for being real, I probably beat Chase here. And this is where it gets sussy, because then he plays his brother. And Tanner even said it last night, that he might just have to throw for the boy Chase, just so he has better odds of making playoffs. I think that's pretty scummy. Personally, I think that's really scummy. You guys can have your own opinions. I think, again, I've said, I've said what I said. I think it's scummy. But again, Tanner... Doesn't really have an incentive to try unless he wanted to try and tie with... It. The only way Tanner can take second seed from me is if he wins out and I lose out 
or if we tie records, then we have to play a game to see who gets second seed, because then we're tied. And then that's a whole other thing. But in actuality, Tanner, number one, doesn't really have a re If he doesn't care for the second seed, he doesn't have a reason to try anymore. And also on top of that, he's playing his brother in the last week, which, you know. Like I said, he he even said it last night he might have to throw for the boy. And if he does throw for the boy, I don't know. Because Tanner, he could try hard against Preston just to beat him. Like, secure the win against Preston to essentially knock him out and then just throw for Chase to give him better odds. I don't know. I, that's what I see happening. He said it last night himself, so I'm going to skip over that. But Chase, uh, realistically, he probably loses to me and he probably beats Tanner because of that. So that moves Chase to 7-11 as well. So real, realistically speaking, this is what we're looking at moving, moving out of the last week of regular season. And that would knock Preston and Chris out of playoffs. God damn it. I'd move Preston and Chris out of playoffs, and it would guarantee Tab's fifth seed. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Because. God damn it. Such an idiot. Such an idiot. Where is it? Okay, right here is where it gets interesting. Because right here, they're tied up. And since we don't have differential, that means they have to play for that six seed. So, realistically speaking, this is what we're going to see coming out of next week. Real, in my opinion. This is what I see coming out of next week. We're going to see Tabs secure fifth seed, which is why I have this. Tabs is most likely going to secure the fifth seed, and he's going to be playing MNAS in the quarters. And then right here, we have an inch, a tiebreaker tie to make playoffs against Wu and Chase. And that's interesting because... uh. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. That's going to be a good game. They've been really neck and neck all season with each other. So I forget who beat who when they played, but they, they've been they've been pretty good. So that's going to leave an interesting dilemma in this six seed. Um, can I change it? So we'll say woo slash chase. Generate it. Okay. So this is a realistically speaking realistically speaking, assuming that what I said down here is what actually happens going into next week, this is what the playoff picture is looking like, right? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna guess on the Woo versus Chase game, because again, Chase could or Wu could beat JC tonight. Wu could win out and just guarantee his playoff spot. But again, this game against JC is gonna be tough. This game against M is gonna be tough. And then against Chris, pretty much a win since Chris, his odds of making playoff are so little. But again, who knows? Um, so again, this is what our playoff picture is looking like right here. So round one of playoffs, we're going to be having the last minute line noons against the Breloom Bambinos. And it's important to note that I think Emnaz lost both times against Tabs. Granted, their match last night, Emnaz had in the bag, but he made the worst. He made the worst misplay of the season, probably top ten w misplays, the top five misplays of the season, I'll say. Um, so Tabs sneaked by. That's not gonna happen in a playoff scenario. It's not gonna happen in a playoff scenario. Um, but again, I think Tabs realizes he won that set by the. By the fucking skin of his teeth. So I think this set is going to be the most interesting in the quarters. 100%. Moving into the other uh, the other one. We have Tanner versus Wu or Chase potentially. If it's Tanner versus Wu, that becomes extremely interesting. Because Tanner doesn't really... Like, let me... Uh, let me do this. Let me, let me pull up their teams really quick. I don't want to leak my teams for this week because I already have them built. Let me let me do some real quick. I forget 
how Wu and Tanner's games have gone before. But like I'm not gonna pull it up. They they've played twice already. We kinda know how the matchup goes. You can go back and watch the replays, but again, the very interesting sort of it's an interesting sort of matchup because Yeah. We we've seen it twice now. I'm gonna leave it to the coaches, but it's an interesting matchup of sorts. If it's Tanner versus Chase, that's a battle of the brothers in the playoffs. And Chase, he beat Tanner. And he probably beats Tanner again in the last on Sunday because Tanner doesn't really have an incentive and also try to help his brother out a little bit. I don't know what I'm but um <laughs> But yeah. Um I don't know. Chase beat him before. In a match that mattered, because it was way earlier on in the season, and Chase just straight out beat him. Um, so if I'm being a realist, and we're going off history, I don't see why Chase doesn't lose this set. Granted, Tanner can make adjustments. He knows why he lost the first time. He can understand the matchup better. He knows what is the threat on his team. He knows about the tailwind with Whimsicott Cotton Nido King now. He understands that. Because I think that was the first week that Chase brought Tailwind Nido King. So he knows it's a threat now. The question then becomes, does he have something to stop it? And that becomes a whole different conversation. Um So really these two semi games are both gonna like all these playoff games are gonna be so like the games the second half of the season have been good. When it's playoffs on the line and you're fighting for that chip, it's going to get crazy. So, if I'm a betting man, if I'm a betting man, this is what I see. I see Emnaz beating Tabs because Emnaz, unless he does some ungodly choke again, unless he does some ungodly choke again, he knows how to beat Tabs. Granted, Tabs out. No, it it gets a it gets complicated. If I'm a betting man, I put Mnaz over Tabs. And then we have Mnaz versus JC in the in the uh, semis. If I'm a betting man down here, if Wu makes it, I think Tanner wins. If Chase makes it, my odds are slightly in the favor. Of Ch I'll give it like fifty-five, forty-five to Chase. I think it's going to be close. Again, Wu's matchup with Tanner, it's still... Uh, it gets so hard. It gets so hard. That's what she said. But, like, dude, this is going to be so... Oh, my. This is going to be so crazy. This is going to be crazy. Oh, my God. This is going to be crazy. If I'm a betting man, if I'm a betting man, I don't know. It, this second one, I can't really predict because we still don't know who the six seed is. Obviously... When we know who the six seed is after next week or the week after, because Wu and Chase most likely are gonna have to play for that six seed. When we finally figure out who that six seed is, we can talk about playoff runs and brackets, and we can all do our own brackets to see who's gonna become the champion. But until that day, this is what I'm leaving here. This is all I'm gonna give, because really, we can't do a play, we can't do a bracket, we can't do bracket runs if we don't even know the last seed. So. Um, yeah. I know I kind of already gave away what I think here. But again, who, Tav, or Emez still has both trades. I think. Let me pull it up. Yeah. He still has both his trades. So if he wants to, he can do two things. One, he can counter, he can trade two of his Pokemon away to counter team the Helm back Tabs to guarantee he makes semis. Or two, he can play this set better and risk losing some Pokemon that are slightly worse for his match against Tabs. But in return, he can make some trades and counter team the hell out of JC. He can do that. So again, if he makes trades, we'll have to see what the trades are. We don't know yet. He's been very silent all season. The only trade he's made was between Arbombe and Fortress. So again, we do not know what Mnaz is cooking. But 
he does still have both his trades. And I think that's very imp I think this this ha this is intentional. This is absolutely intentional. There's no way you go the whole season with making none of your free agency trades. Mnaz planned this out from the beginning. Figured he could make playoffs and he did. Now he has to decide if he wants to counter team Taz or if he wants to counter team JC. So I'll leave that up for debate. The second half of the bracket, again, still undecided, so I can't really get into it. But that also just happens to be the side of the bracket that I'm on. I'm on. So I don't know. It's going to be very interesting. But again, the teams down here are on lock roster-wise. But up here, Hemnaz could do some last sec. They call him the last-minute lot news, bro. He could do some last-minute switch-ups and really make a championship run. But again, um, yeah. Again, just to review, there's still some sets that have to be played tonight, but assuming they go the way that we all anticipate them going, this is, and assuming next weekend is going to go how we assume, this is what we're looking at. We're look, assuming everything goes the way I said in this video, um, Wu and Chase are most likely going to have to fight for that playoff spot, for that six seed. And then this is what our bracket is going to be looking like going in a couple weeks down the line. So again, um, I know this video is kind of hectic all over the place, but again, playoffs is here. On, assen playoffs is essentially here. It's essentially here. So if you guys are excited as I am, this is what you're looking at here. Um. Playoffs are going to be extremely different than they were last season because last season we just had to kind of rush it through. So you could only bring one team, yada, yada, yada. But this season, a true playoff run. So whoever wins this championship is the first official full season championship winner. And personally, I, I, I mean, hey, biased. This is biased content here. This is biased content. But personally, I think your boy's taking it. I think your boy is taking it. Hey, I mean, obviously everyone in playoffs is going to think they're taking it, but and this second seed looking real good, big man. That's one less game I got to play to win the chip. That's all I'm saying. So <laughs> I'm just rambling at this point. Um, Again, most likely this is going to be the bracket. Again, just to reiterate, Preston and Chris, statistically speaking, can still make it. But so much has to go in their favor in order to win. Well, for Chris, it's a lot more. But for Chase, or no, for for Preston, it's a little bit less. So, but still about the same. Um, but again, this is where I anticipate these, these teams finishing. And again, we're most likely going to see a Woo versus Chase entry into the playoffs. So again... I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of sorts. Again, if you are a top five team, and I mean JC, me, Emnez, Tanner, and Tabs, or JC, me, Tanner, and the, whatever you know what I mean. If you're a top five seeded team, this is what this is what you're looking at here. This is what you're looking at here. And again, if you're if you're one of uh, if you're one of these teams, you still got some fighting left in you. Still, still got some time you got to put in. So again, a lot of rambling towards the end of this video, but I'm just so so excited for this. This is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be brazy. But again, it's been your boy. One last week of the regular season to go by. This season fucking flew the hell by. Um, yeah. Hope we have a good last week of regular season and then send the season off on a banger. See you guys later.